annoying look <laughs> or a just annoying look or I just like we just sometimes we just look at each other and it's just like oh remember that so John Barry how, how long do you know how long do you know each other oh I've like my first, first memory of John was working on my dad's fishing boat yeah. when you were what 16 no I was older than that with your oh. dad I was like I didn't look it but I was obviously much older um, I would have been like 1920 with your dad and that would have been like no it would have been probably maybe 21 22 because like what were you born 84 yep so yeah late, late 80s so maybe 1920 right. ah, yeah. no that's true so like I used to work for Barry's dad okay. as a lobster fisherman on Isla you were a lobster and fisherman. Barry used to come down to the boat and try and get in my nerves all the time yeah, and was... like, try and kill himself basically he would jump like standing on the side of the boat and like and I was just like oh Barry Jesus Christ he certainly didn't succeed with the second task but no. did he succeed with the first did he go on your nerves no 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 not really like it was just like oh, Craig can you, can, <laughs> can you look after your own kids instead of me so like I would say to his dad his dad's name's Craig I would say like Craig can you look after your own kids like like I'm not your babysitter and you took him into Lafroy as a as, as small man, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. yep. So when, when you came to Lafroy, you had other things in your head uh, regarding your career, right? Well, when I started, it was agency cover. Okay. Uh, somebody yeah. was going off on the sick. Yeah. Uh, John knew I was kind of in between jobs. He called me and he said, there's an opportunity if you want to come for you know, a few months and also there's someone retiring soon so it, it might lead to something else and uh, yeah at the time it was like abs I knew a couple of folk and then the son and Sean was there he was the yep. uh, younger like myself <laughs> at the time <laughs> uh, and it was just everything I'd heard about it was like this is amazing why, wh why have I not thought about this sooner and uh, yeah, I was, it was well chuffed and again actually did lead to something else did lead to you become distillery manager when was the thought first brought up was it between you or did, uh, did you think about Barry could be a good distillery manager yeah no straight away yeah. nope um, you ask at the interview do you have like do you have the the <laughs> there's a different word in Scotland I'm trying to think of a different <laughs> answer for you. but like do you want to be distillery manager like is that part of your goals and so like you want people like mm. when you're employing people you you almost want people to be better than you yeah. that's like because then it makes your job easier <laughs> yeah. um, failed a lot of times but I did well with Barry what, what is Barry better than you in? Uh, like Oh, quite a few things, I would say. Um, so, like, I the one the one thing I'm good at is understanding my weaknesses, I guess. So, like, I would definitely be using Barry for, um, like, certainly, like, how do you explain this? Like, I can be go in with heavy boots on sometimes <laughs> and so like I would say to Barry like how do we manage this how do we do this how do we like how do I not end up like looking like I'm just a big dictator here because um, to me everything can sometimes be black and white mm. it's like I've told you this is my expectations now you need to do that mm. and it doesn't always work like that with people so Barry was very good probably listening to my frustrations and then giving me solutions to well you might want to think about this you might want to think about that so that was definitely um, hugely useful to me as um, the like distillery manager and just like you can tell somebody's smart when you interview them you can tell this person's got a bit about them they have a presence about them they have a, an awareness 
about them. And the awareness was the thing, I guess, ultimately I'm saying here. The awareness with Barry was very strong initially and, and will still be to this day. And it's just, it's his kind of skill, I guess. A very same question to you. What do you think that John is better than you are? The biggest thing I've learned is, even tonight, yeah. listening to John talking about how Loch Lee reacts when they distill it, how it reacts during fermentation. I have, when I first started, I was like this dry sponge and John was just a bucket of water. And I just wanted to learn, learn, learn. And the biggest regret I've got is thinking John was going to be there forever. <laughs> and so for years, I actually, I showed it to you when you told me you were leaving. I'd bought his book and it was kind of big, uh, it wasn't Lafroy Green, but it was the most closest I could find, a leather bound book that I wanted. I had in my head, I thought, once a week I want to sit down with John and just learn more about the fermentations, mashing, stilling, maturation, Lafroig. I just wanted to really get it all down and over the next 10, 15, 20 years, I'll be able to have this wealth of knowledge uh, because it's all in there. And uh, that's why I really, 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 really wanted to get to. And I just thought, John's here forever, so <laughs> I'll get to that tomorrow, I'll get to it tomorrow. And then when John told me he was, uh, he was moving on, it was kind of like, I had to fill this whole big book. <laughs> yeah, this is knowledge on whiskey, this knowledge on Lafroy, this knowledge on the community, it was, it wasn't just so much that I wanted to know it, it was some more that I wanted to carry forward the Lafroy legacy that John and all the priest managers created. It was important to me that it carried forward all the way through. And, uh, but, the, but the beauty is, I, I've got WhatsApp. Yeah, I'm, and I'm, I'm the other end of that's the phone. The, that's, yeah. that's the best thing, it's like, when one text, I, I, I know, I can find out, uh, it's, it's great. It's really, really good. And malt losses. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, oh, that's so funny. It's the dark arts. Uh, malt, malt losses are dark arts. And I used to like, uh, uh, how many times did we sit in the office uh, on like, Chris, like basically Christmas Eve and we're going like, oh, how do we get this? How does it work out? How are they giving us these figures, the operators? And we're just like, do, do, do. And then like, we make it work. That's, that's, we'll make it work, Barry, don't worry. And this yeah. is what we're doing next year. <laughs> and so, like, it would be like, well, we have to do this the first three months of the year, and we have to do, like, do this the next... And it's like, oh, OK. It's all figured out. Aye. And well, then we'd go and have a whiskey. <laughs> but uh, that day was horrendous, wasn't it? Uh, it was horrendous. But your, your brain worked quicker than I... That, than, you, than you communicated. Yeah. So you were already three steps ahead of Mott Losses, yeah. And I was watching what you're doing, but by the time you're communicating to me, I'm like, ah, oh, no. no. <laughs> I'm, very, like, I'm really good at arithmetic. Aye, so, yes. like, I'm super good at arithmetic. But, like, you're right. Aye. By the time it gets to there, yep. like, um, like... You're two steps ahead. Aye. If, like, even for me, at school, I was always the person that was going, I know, I know, I know, I know. And then it was like, oh, you didn't pack me. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not telling you the answer. <laughs> <laughs> right, Barry, John, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with us here. And yeah, what, what else should I say? Have fun with what you're doing. Yeah. And I feel you have. No, we certainly will. Yeah. Absolutely. Always. Always. Ah, you know, I think one of the things we definitely told me was you have to enjoy it. Yeah. You have to enjoy it. Uh, and it's always remembering that. And what's right for the Freud and enjoy it. Yep. Yes, yeah. so I'll do my best. I'll do my best for you, John, to enjoy it. For everyone. <laughs> I'll yeah. do that for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>